The enemy force is moving on our forces in numbers we cannot hope to counter, even with air support. They will, however, have to pass a bridge in order to cross over to our side of the front. Krymsk Air Force Base will be sending up Su-27s to defend against enemy fighters and Su-34s to engage enemy armored columns. We do not hope to destroy them all, but the attacks will delay them long enough for our true plan to be implemented. Thunder One Flight will use precision munitions to destroy the bridge over the Cuban River, Waypoint 3. Due to a lack of suitable munitions, we will use the GPU-16 from our OP4 storage for the strike. Once they are depleted, there will be no more. The Diplomatic Corps is currently working on the issue of resupplying these weapons. Thunder 2 Flight will be on standby in case the Combat Air Patrol needs reinforcements. Bolt Flight will be on standby until the air threats have been neutralized. Once this is done, they will proceed to engage enemy artillery and command vehicles. The enemy have modern equipment, but not modern air-to-air -air weapons. We will most likely encounter A and C model Falkrums. We know that the Soviets have a full squadron deployed at Sochi Air Base. Be on alert for bomber aircraft, such as Fencer or Backfire as well. The enemy may also include rotary elements into their assault on our positions. Weapons free against identified hostile targets. Let's prep for takeoff and everything else in between. We'll start with the data coverage right there and we'll lock it in. Meanwhile, Warning. we'll fix the flaps Warning. and kill the master warning. Data link is online, master mode, and done. We can also make sure that our pod has power, and then we can request <laughs> Copy tower, we will be taxiing to the runway 19. Formation lights will be online at this start of the flight, but then discarded as the situation may warrant more discretion. We'll lock in uh, waypoint zero three as our destination.
Один. Взлет запрещаю. Один. Масленка. Взлет по готовности. Отход по схеме на 300. Подавление 2, 9, запятая 4, 6. Copy tower, climb 3, 0, 0. We will wait for number 2. And once he has arrived, we will make sure to continue on the mission. Nothing on the data link so far. Yeah, we should be clear to depart full speed. Rotating. Wheels up. Altitude. 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 Flaps up. Air to ground master mode. We'll put the HSD in the middle. All Cuban flights, we have incoming missiles. Scramble, scramble. Bolt flight, execute mission. Thunder 2 will cover you. I have nothing on my data link, but that doesn't mean anything at the moment. Main channel, 1, 1, 9. Uh, below that, we got the uh, contacts on the data link, but they're too far away for us to be any meaningful use against them. Pod is active and unsafe. Bombs are toggled on the nose. Uh, quantity will be two bombs with an interval of two zero zero. Slow down a little bit. We are approaching 16,000. We'll keep the pod aimed towards the general area, and that should be sufficient for now. Slow down a little bit. Just speed. Switch to manual mode. Master arm is online. We are on target. We do have what looks like the bridge straight ahead. We'll mark that as our point of interest for now.
And we can reduce our altitude. Right now the clouds are just going to be a hindrance in our mission. We should have a clear and precise lock on the target area soon enough. We are going to climb a bit and then we are going to engage the autopilot. Make sure we get the proper... Altitude hold is active. Contrast settings are currently not really. Refocus, please. I can see the bridge down there. We'll have to make a little bit of an adjustment in heading. We're closing fast. That should be right on the money. Confirmed. 10 seconds. Bombs away. Designated the target. Good hit on the target. That's confirmed. That bridge is out. I say again, that bridge is definitely out. If they want to put tanks across that thing, it's out. Good show for the flight. Let's get out of here and hope the enemy cruise missiles hasn't messed things up too badly for us back home. Tracking. 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 Switch to close tracking. air combat mode tracking. just in case tracking. we need it. And switch to tracking. radar. Tracking. Tracking. And HST. There we go. Tracking. 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 We'll head back towards the Black Sea. Tracking. Hopefully tracking, without attracting tracking. undue attention. The base is out of commission for a long time, Thunderflight. Redirect Anapa once your mission is complete. I can see the base over there. Looks like the ammunition depot went up in flames.
We should make a closer inspection of the damages though, so we can understand what we're dealing with here. Then we can head back to Anapa via the ocean. Tracking, tracking, tracking. Tracking, tracking, tracking. Tracking, tracking, tracking. Yeah, it looks like the base was hit pretty bad. I can see tracking, craters all over the place. Tracking, and the ammunition depot is indeed going up in flames. Tracking, tracking. We'll give it a circuit tracking, and then we'll head back to Anapa. And upper traffic, this is Thunder 1, uh, inbound runway 04. Flaps. Landing gear. We're coming in a bit high, but we should be able to handle that. Prep the brake chutes. We're coming in very high. Break shoot. Splendid. Mission has been accomplished. We will continue our taxi to Первый. our Сто new первый. home. We got some T-140 Black Jack standing here, and I know that Anapa is also home to a MiG-31 squadron, so most likely we will be working together with them in the future. Jettisoning shoots, and that is another mission accomplished. This was an interesting mission in that everything seems to have gone according to plan. Now, I only have the visual cues on how my bomb drop went, but we will soon see the replay of that. We can, however, here in the background, see the aircraft that is about to launch missiles on our base. And there was no SAM or CAP coverage that could have prevented it. So, basically, uh, we couldn't even have prevented it had we scrambled immediately against them. You can see the missiles are inbound here. And they are simply far too many for us to handle. So the missiles were in the air basically once we left the airbase. So we have a squadron of SU-34 fullbacks here, engaging the enemy ground forces and actually doing a fairly decent job of it. They managed to take out a lot of the enemy air defenses, which were really, really helpful. We can also see our own artillery here opening fire upon the enemy forces across the bridge. We had a good clean separation of our warheads. Now TACU will not show us the actual bridge, but we can see that both the warheads were had a good separation, meaning that they will not kill each other. So inbound on the target, they also came, yeah, I would say that is a perfect drop with one bomb hitting before the other, exactly as planned with the planned separation. 
there is nothing further to comment on that fact. Now, we were almost intercepted by these MiG uh, 29s over here, who were also directed by uh, A50 Mainstay. However, the SU 27 flankers that we have over here intervened, and there were essentially no enemy air power that could contest us on the outbound. Meanwhile, Bolt Flight and Thunder 2 Flight uh, successfully evacuated the base. There was subsequent missile launches against the base, but uh, since we're not using it anymore, we managed to get out perfectly fine. The JF-17s also started the engagement with SD-10s to mop up some of the remaining MiGs, doing a fairly good job of it. That MiG already looks like he's going to crash for other reasons, but he was then splashed by a combination of uh, our JFs and air defenses. Apparently, they and the flanker then chose to engage a flight of enemy helicopters, while both flight dealt with the artillery. So, the battle at hand were pretty decent here, and uh, this is a victory for our side, and a pretty good one at that. The enemy have lost several helicopters, they've lost several MiGs, they can't cross the bridge, and even the forces they have on the other side of the bridge are severely devastated from the attacks by our Vigans and our fullbacks. So then, of course, all flights moved to recover at Anapa as planned. 